Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I am Atul and in this video we are going to discuss about the T function in Excel. So before we go and write some formula with this T function, first of all we need to understand what exactly is this T function. So in Excel if the value refers to a text then this T function will return the exact value which is the text but if the value does not refer to the text then this T function will return an empty value or you can say that it will be blank. So in our day to day life we do not generally need to use this T function in a formula because Microsoft Excel automatically converts value as per your requirement or based on your necessity but this function is provided for the compatibility with the other spreadsheet programs. So although we generally do not use this formula but sometimes we do need to use this formula when we have to make our Excel file compatible with the other spreadsheet programs. So let's go and see two different examples that how we can use this T formula or this T function. So the first example is that suppose if you have to check the value provided in a cell is text or not then you can use this T function. And the second example is that you have two columns here for last name and first name and sometimes when you receive data from other teams then there might be a possibility that you will have zero or some numbers in the cell and if you do not want to capture those numbers for example you do not want to capture this zero in your result column then you can use this t formula to get only the text part so let's go to our first example which is that how can we check if the value provided in this range is text or not so it's very simple what we can do is that we can simply put equal to t and then we'll open a bracket we'll take the cell address this b7 in which there is a date and when we close this bracket ideally we should not get anything because the value in cell b7 is a date and this t function will only return the text value so as I have pressed enter, you can see here that we are not getting any value. But if we drag this formula down, we are getting the value for hello. We are not getting value for true. As well as we are not getting value for this 8490 in cell B10. You might think that why we have not got value for this true. This is a text, right? But actually true is a boolean value. So there is a data type boolean and boolean has true and false. So this t function evaluates this text string true as a boolean data type and that's why it returns the empty text. Now let's move ahead to our another example where we have to combine the first name and last name when there is zero present in the names. So ideally what we need to do is that we need to get the first name and then we have to concatenate it with the last name but if the first name is 0 then we have to exclude that 0 and take only the last name as well as we have to do the vice versa that if the last name is 0 then we have to exclude that last name and keep only the first name so in these kind of scenarios you can use the if function also but this if function might get a little complex as compared to this t function so if we write equal to t okay and we'll take the first name then if we use this ampersand sign then we'll put a space again we'll use a ampersand sign and then we will again use this t function and take the last name now as you can see here the first name and last name both are text that's why our result set cell contains this name but in row number 18 you can see that the last name is 0 so ideally we should only get the first name we should exclude this last name which is a numeric value so let's drag this formula over here so when I drag this formula you can see that till row number 17 from row number 15 till 17 we are getting the correct names and in row number 18 as per the requirement we are only getting the first name because the last name is a 0 it's 
non-text value, it's a numeric value and this t function will return empty text for anything which is not text. So let's drag this formula till down and you can see that there is a white space in the left hand side before Norman because in the first name we have zero and this t function gives a empty text for this zero. Now if you take for example if we take the length of this normal it has six characters and now if we take the length of this value which is in result set it should ideally give us seven. So you might be thinking that why we have seven reason being is that there is a one empty text added in front of normal or in the left side of the normal. So that is how basically you can use this t function to get only the text value from a range of cells.